my life has officially changed. Drag Race and Drag Con is all symbols of my life moving in the direction that I've always wanted it to go in. I've worked really hard on myself and my career path, and this is just one more like huge stepping stone to getting better and higher and wherever, I don't know, something, just being successful. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh my god. You look so good. Best dress here so far. It feels like I'm right where I belong, in front of all these wonderful people, you know, getting a cold. I really feel like a celebrity here, which is something I've n never experienced before in my life. I had never expected that people will be waiting online for hours and hours and hours. I probably met at least over a thousand people today. DragCon feels very, very important to me. It's people gathering together to celebrate drag as an exemplary aspect of American life and queer culture. I have been very touched and very moved. I've met some moms with their kids. It's nice to see at DragCon what a wide group drag race reaches. My experience on the show was magical and beautiful and loud and amazing and over the top. And then it was sad at the ending because they were like, you gotta have surgery, girl, so you gotta go. And I was like, oh, but it was amazing at the same time. It was so mentally beautiful and the girls were gracious. I miss my season nine sisters. We had so much fun together and we don't get to see each other that much when we're traveling. So getting to be here and like see each other is like, you know, it's like a school reunion. There's no more like tension, except for with a couple of them, but, um, for the most part, it's just fun. I love these young fans. I've had like seven year olds. At first I was a little worried how the fans were gonna take me. And now it's it's good. Hi, this is Trinity Taylor. I'm Alexis Michelle. I am Eureka O'Hara. My name is Kimora Black. I'm Sasha Velour. And we're at RuPaul's DragCon 2017. Mwah. I call shade.